mtu wa picha kama nisiende Instagram kama mimi si mtu wa ku dance nisingie TikTok ama unafuata tu ama ni ni force to ni lazima yeah because you find people who you use TikTok but they never dance on TikTok mm -hmm. but they always enjoy the content that is there mm -hmm. so you don't have to at a, do a TikTok video for you to be on TikTok aha yes i can enjoy without yes okay that gives me hope <laughs> although i post just the other day on TikTok si mimi nifuate dancing small well i the day bisha boy let me know what's your name Okay, my name is Purity Gaki. Mm -hmm. I'm a teacher in uh, Kalsa International School. I'm also a, a guidance and counselor. Uh, in my Instagram, I'm Purity Gaki. Facebook, mm -hmm. Purity Gaki. TikTok, Pure Precious. Mm -hmm. uh, one, one. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm not yet in X. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hold it. Guidance and counselor, Ted. We, uh, we explain to me that if I know to up okay when it comes to guidance and counseling we uh, are uh, focusing on students mostly because I'm dealing with teenagers where most of them they come from uh, far countries like US America and uh, they've got so much is issues that we normally have some uh, stages of de development mm -hmm. maybe they have an, a family issue or passion personal issue that we have to go through and then I give them the timings. Where? Where? Yes. Mashida zetu. Zote. Za watu wanze ni same. Si onange kama zineza kuwa same. Ni same? Zinafanana. They are the same scenarios. Like we have the family issues. They are all the same. Like we have relationships at home. The single mother, the family. The ones who are staying with their mothers only. Mm -hmm. So these are some of the rampant issues that we are currently having. Mm -hmm. Also, we've got the issues about vaping, mm -hmm. gay sim, mm -hmm. and uh, lesbian sim. Mm -hmm. This is another current thing which is trending in, among the international schools that we are holding. Uh, we are trying to help them so that they can adapt mm -hmm. to the environment, that they can fit into the environment that we are in in Kenya. Wow. Where? <laughs> Intense. <laughs> Where? I never have spared it. It's not easy. Yeah. Yes. We oh. have to encounter this every now and then. And then it may not pass before we handle such issues. But um, because of the trainings, the sessions that we, we held with them, mm -hmm. we are able to conquer and um, maybe we are taking them somewhere. I, I have so many questions, so many questions, but I want to link them to the topic of the day. Uh, yes. Okay. Let me first introduce the question. We have been trying to get you to go over there on our socials without actually telling you the story. But the, uh, the, uh, the ask of the day is the office's dirty talk. So that colleague, when you open a joke, chafu chafu, mkiwa job, hukujaz ama anabo. So let's, for example, say this is a school setting. Does that come off as harassment? Ama ni jokes too? Okay, to some extent, it becomes a joke. Mm -hmm. To some extent, it may be personal, according to the weight on how someone has uh, put that um, joke like. For instance, you take an issue where someone may come shouting in mm -hmm. the staff room and all of you are busy. Maybe you have some deadlines to meet. Mm -hmm. And someone shouts all over, is disturbing you, is tapping you, picking your pants. Maybe it's towards the end of term. Mm -hmm. And you are marking the papers. You have deadlines to meet. You have the report forms to prepare. And then this guy or uh, anyone comes and starts interrupting you. Then this becomes a joke. But to some extent, also it distracts you mm -hmm. from mm -hmm. that... Uh, working mood mm -hmm. and then at least you feel like you are just settled or you are okay mm -hmm. uh, to some extent i'm saying uh, i mean it's positive or negative mm -hmm. because it will distract you at least you now you are able to come back to the normal life uh, setup mm -hmm. where you are not having so much pressure too mm -hmm. much pressure that you are working on with it mm -hmm. and to some extent also it may waste for you time mm -hmm. maybe at UN Target, and, and by this time, actually, I teach Kiswahili geography. I have to mark 11 papers, all of them. Mm -hmm. And uh, by the time break, you figure na fikiria, eh, na fani kweni memaliza hii 11 papers, mm -hmm. ama hii ya 10, ama ya 7. So you may not meet your target mm -hmm. as, a, as, a, as a person or as a 
So sometimes na kuanga jokes lakini sometimes sasa zingine kuangi jokes. Then talk to me. Yeah, true. It's like for example when someone comes and tells you you look nice today, you take it in a positive way. Mm -hmm. But if you overdo it, it becomes to become negative which will affect your working. Like if for example if you're working with someone and then the jokes get to be too much, mm -hmm. you will start looking like ah, so it gets to other extents that you can't get out of it. Mm -hmm. Yes, especially if someone is a superior, they can undermine you, like totally. Let's assume. <laughs> no, see, it's okay. Let's give him a handsome face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. Uh -huh. Like even someone telling you beautiful, tell, touching your hair, you feel nice. Mm -hmm. But there's some, um, it's too much. Mm -hmm. They start visualizing you every time, telling you nasty things. Mm -hmm. It goes to a point, it gets to a point where it gets out of hand. Mm -hmm. And it affects the working in the setup. <laughs> <laughs> Kuna wenye una click now too, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Na ita kuwa that intense. Na kuna wengine they, over, they overdo it. Once you overdo it. Mm -hmm. That's the problem. Yes. It's the issue. Even now you, you can see your workmate and mm -hmm. hey, you look nice today, you smell good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but if you take it to other levels at work, it can be very messy. Ten, 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 ten. <laughs> that leads me to another question. But before I ask the question that I want to ask kindly, what on is on Facebook, the comments. So we have Vincent Ugutu says, Kili Mani in Nenda na Wakati. <laughs> I like your handle. <laughs> says Mimindani Jamal. I'm going to make a present. Uh, OBNG Senior. I'm going to Franklin. Says you need to. Okay, see you. Kelvin Karanta. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, now this is about the previous guest, Strength of a Woman with Crash Mengi. I will convey the message. Wesley Gibson says, loving the show. Mm -hmm. We have one, Dennis. The, yes, we like those people where you get chafo. They keep you going, Bana. Scott says, hashtag when morning, good morning. Yana kwanga tu sawa. Huni jazz, sana, sana, sana. Hey, ni kama kilo ofisi kakona ako kama tumoja. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dennis Nyongeza says, natuzawa ni kuwa na mwesi in Bungoma County. We appreciate you. Sammy Allen says, bila huyo mse job day in a bow. It's boring. Alpha Skip Tum says, good morning. Wait for four tuned in from South B, Nairobi. Huyo huni jazz, mbaya sana. Hey, siju mutume picha. Huyo moto mwenye na wajazi hivi sasa. I see Dynamo says that it's out now. Tazama kutoka Tanzania, mtazamo wenu pendeza. Ah, shukran. Saleso Moriki says, Pureza nikuwa Empire Chamber of Great Thinkers. We, Saidia Mutuati. I see you. Esther Thathi, good morning. Timothy Ngaira, good morning. Watching from Kitale. Edgar Hansom, wanya ururu. Hey, top fan. Wandasi Junior says, following Wawero wa keyboard says, Naivasha Mirera Tund, another top fan. J-Boy, J-Boy, nimekucheki. Morris Nyongesa, I see you. Wamushanda Kabras inside. Aya, watu ni smami hapo tukiendelea. I see you sending in a couple of selfies. Manakave, zuri buwana. Or like this in the morning. Ama njini wale wa kuongea vizu minataka. Hashtag is why in the morning or WCW. Now, for example, mtu wana flat flat na wewe ya naongea chafu chafu, kidogo wame kushika mkono, kasi yako ka feeling na lugeni na ito aje. That, that ka... You come on, if you see, I'm a good boy. That 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 feeling that you feel when you know, see the goosebumps in English. Now, what is it in your language? Yes, kindly. So now, Aksha finally wants a lot of money to return a work girlfriend, work boyfriend. Because how ever, I'm a man's up overdo. No, because how I think that's where we're getting wrong. You can have an office B. Mm -hmm. That's why you always wake up in the morning to go meet that office bee of yours. Mm -hmm. But there are, if you have, cause especially if you have an office bee, I don't think you'd like jokes from other people because you know you have that one person. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So energy, babe, wakueli ya kini kosea nenda kuambia office bee. Babe, je, ebu cheki, kwanza nena ni kumanyesha message. Why you think you're part of it? Okay, I think uh, to me, iko sawa. When you have someone who maybe it's your being in the office, mm -hmm. or someone you, you, you get along with. Uh, sometimes you come from home, you've got so much pressure, mm -hmm. moons, you have moon swings, and 
once you meet the person, mm -hmm. you are able to interact mm -hmm. in a open in a, in a open way, and therefore it becomes easier for you even to run the day because you not carry the stresses that you went from home mm -hmm. to work. Mm -hmm. Therefore, you are able to balance between the work and home because of this person. Maybe the person is mm -hmm. maybe the jokes he brings they are okay, yes, they are right. nice for you and you feel full of life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kido kido kuanza kupika lunch ya watu wawili. Ana. Yes, it's in the office there. Yeah. Uh, which brings me to my next question. Uh -huh. Is it inappropriate to date a coworker? Like me pitishayo stage ya jokes mkona. Hey, huyu kidogo amefanya nini? Sikia ka feeling bwana that I felt a feeling. What is that? Then kido kido like this now you're in a relationship. Is that unprofessional? Have we gone past the boundaries? I know. I, well, if it was in the olden days, mm -hmm. it would be like so inappropriate. But right now, people are doing it. Mm -hmm. I think it's for you and your person to know the standards you set. When it's work, it's work. Mm -hmm. And if when the other things, if you have personal things with me, let it sort it at home. I think it's the boundary you create between you two people. Mm -hmm. When when it's work, it's work. Mm -hmm. yeah, it, we are we are not joking about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you think it would work? Okay, yeah. There's a meme. There's a meme that says Lulu Hassan is the only female who knows where her husband is at all times. <laughs> like wakiwa job, wote wako job, wakiwa She's the only woman in this lifetime who knows where her husband is all the time. But say to me to kusema like it's sometimes for our profession it's a bit hard. And I imagine for you too, mm -hmm. as when you go professions that need human contact, like eh, like nenda job lazima ni kwen mefry. Just mm. how easy it costs energy. Now I'm talking heartbreak. Maybe for for all you know, I'm going heartbroken. Boana, eh? I'm a nikonja. There's just something yeah. happening, but I have to mask it. So imagine having a bear in the office. I love to cosign to kidogo. Or even worse, mutu anze ku flat na e mbele aku. Makosa ifanyi ke ibe sa sa love to fanya ni. Okay. Uh, to some extent, it 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 it, it, it becomes um stressful. Let's say you are dating someone and this person, as you say, maybe starts flirting with someone else that you can see. Mm -hmm. And you know for sure this is my bear and we are moving somewhere. Mm -hmm. uh, it, 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 it gives you um, that issue of becoming now, oh, this person is doing this because we are dating or we are having him. Uh, then you are, you, you are left um, wondering, could this person... And this we bring conflict between two of you mm -hmm. to some extent. That aside, it may be um, tedious mm -hmm. in the manner that you have to be cautious on some of the things that you do in that staff room. Emanze, uwezi fanya kitu enye, utafanya kasirike kwa sababu. Yes. So you find yourself, even you are isolating yourself from other people because you cannot even have a discussion with others since you feel, if I say this, how will he perceive it? How will he take it? Will it be positive or negative? So you find yourself excluding yourself. Sometimes you are all alone because you don't want him to be hungry or you don't want to bring anything that will bring conflict among us uh, between you mm. yes and uh, the other time also you need to be so cautious about how you work mm -hmm. because this is where you are getting your daily brand maybe let's say you done the dating and everything mm -hmm. and you are now moving to the next step of marrying this mm -hmm. is where you are getting the daily brand therefore you need to work as you know these are family mm -hmm. but not a dating citers anymore <laughs> Yeah, I like the way. Yes. Then how you feeling about it? So basically, you don't support it dating in the workspace. Uh, I support it because socially, most of the time you're in the office. Mm -hmm. That's your working area. From let's say you report at work at seven, leave at four. Mm -hmm. The entire time you've been there from Monday to Friday. Mm -hmm. Then only two days that you have for yourself. Mm -hmm. So where are you going to get these people that you'll date? You can get them from the work. Yani ni kuone Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, <laughs> Friday, Saturday to end the date, Sunday to end the charge. Kwani sta choka pia mimi? Kwani sta angaliona mwana ume mwingine ni tese tese pesi mwene shwali? Speak to me. Personally, I feel it works. 
honestly speaking, mm -hmm. if you found your person in the workspace, what do you do? Mm -hmm. You just find, you have to find those dynamics that's going to work for you. Alternatively, you can look for a job somewhere else so that you can enjoy that kind of space you want, not seeing your person every day. Alternatively. That is a lot of... I'm a Yani sasa tumeanza kusema we you found me here ama ama because of mapenzi mapenzi ni kitu poa but also have comes with so many things <laughs> eh, guys guys all right now before they tell me i don't have a lot of time left yeah. do you have any experiences in the office of, of our okay definitely do watu wame agree mm -hmm. na nikama pia na nyinyi mmepitana me nazo mm -hmm. what are some of the ones that were okay that you could condone and some that you just know na need you un overdo and when does it pass the line to the point that unaenda kum report now this one is harassing me mm. i need now human resources to come in or i need uh, some authority to come in and help me mm -hmm. yes please personally um i feel if you have you want to have an office be have someone you in the same level of work i don't believe having an office be is better if you have someone superior because that may end up being very bad. Because mm -hmm. at times, if he's tired of you, undermining you, can overwork you. But someone in the same space brings you lunch, does the small, small things, can help you in a project, can like help you navigate your workspace. So, mm -hmm. yeah. So, so come home, do sinto na kanga Alejandro. Wacha mkule tu kwa macho. Wallahi, na anakujaga na promises. I'll help you get promoted. It's okay. I know people. Mm? Trust me, baby. You see how sweet it is. Mm -mm. It's the same way it's gonna be when it starts being messy. You start overworking you, uh, telling you it's five. You are supposed to clock out at five. Brings you more work at five. What are you gonna do about it? It will get messy. Just the way it is so sweet, it's gonna be also bitter. Can I tell you a story of when it triggered my heart? There's mm. once I used to work as a as a waitress in a certain restaurant. So I love the manager. It was a random, like me, they can put your casera says, Kwambia, and he'll be here too, because my guys, Simon, pay job. And then I was told, okay, kuja next week. So I started. So I'm friendly, and, and I want to get to know people around me. Oh, to be money, but it's going to be money sometimes. See, must monge. Kupi money, neza kuangalea tu kumba. I did not have that wisdom at that time. So, small daddy to kind of hang out now at Wangu. See, I brought work into my personal space. Yeah. Makosa number one. <laughs> <laughs> Just come on, Liza. Come on, Come on, I didn't know what, how his personality is. If he's volatile or something. Yeah. So I think he came and thought now, eh, Val, Val, I'm suka. I ain't get box, but me see ko apo. I truly was not. See, I didn't know what I'm at that time, but I was just not into it. Mm. We, ile ma kasiri kuni li receive. Hey, kasi yangu niliwa ku wait on tables. Nili jikuta mimi ndo na pigade kihadi na fungua na kaa for an extra two hours. At alafu kuna zones. When restaurants are big, like kuna zone ya kwa let's say zone east side ni mimi na man umuingine na fakwa. Nili kwa na jipata all of them at once. Nasi nasi wezi kata. This is like apa niki kaza kata ni kaza kuashida. It was very difficult, guys. That was a memory I had lost somewhere. Okay, now back to the question, please, kindly. Okay, as Jen is saying, mm. I also think um, to some extent, just if you're having an office bay, date someone who is in your level. Because at the moment you go to someone who is superior, someone who has an office somewhere mm -hmm. in that uh, job that you are working in, it comes uh, with a lot of many disadvantages. Mm -hmm. First, you love to be, pro there is the issue of pressure. Mm -hmm. If there is any conflict that you held before with this person, or if you have got any disagreement with this person, it all comes to work because this is the place that you are meeting. Mm -hmm. And then the person will start now harassing you and it can go to an extent of you being sent away from the work. Mm -hmm. So maybe if you are dating, you, you have an of, uh, office, may have someone who is in your level. Mm -hmm. Don't go for those people who have got their offices, who can say, if I say today purity, you are out, you are yeah, out. out. Yeah. 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 Yes, so uh, when it, it, it is easier when you have someone who you can at least discuss, calm the issue, 
and you are able to come to conclusion with that. Funny thing is, I've always imagined that it's one way. Like, manome ndio anakutafuta kama dem. Alafu, if you do not comply or if you don't enter box, for lack of a better phrase, shida. But I recently heard of a dude who went through the same thing. Like, handsome, very handsome young man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One of his bosses, I like, oh, Tswana Mwangalea, because I was in town. Tswana Mwangalea, he was in town. And that's how the, the dude just even, ata, he was in town after that, because he was a really good intern. Mm -hmm. I would like to assume, to me monona kifanya kazi. But he was in town, because now what are we going to do? Madam, si kutaki. Eh, mumama was in town, Ben 10. <laughs> eh? <laughs> And why are they usually married, by the way, with children? <laughs> what is the problem? Why is it quite too single? To I know. Why? Why is it like that? So, what happens if they're the ones pursuing you? Well, my cookie mind to your own business. Mm -hmm. But it's them pursuing you. And they're pursuing you by force. What do you do in that situation? Oh, now that's the tricky part. Uh, you see, cause especially if where you're working is a setup that is not have HR, you know, there's a setup that the owner is everything, mm. is the HR. So that one will be so hard because you can't even address them, you mm. cannot air out your issues. So at times you tend to just work with the pressure that you're having mm -hmm. as you look for something better. Imagine mm -hmm. there's no alternative. It's either you give in or you opt out. Mm. And now never give would you put in more it, problems yeah. that and opting out maybe could have just work, worked out for you so well. T for tough bona. T for tough. This is never easy. <laughs> uh, I I as well I think it's the same. If they are the ones who are pursuing you, you may have too much pressure from the same. Mm -hmm. Bearing in mind that this person is the one who says the ones who bring the rules and the regulations to be followed by all the workers and you are among the workers, and he's seeing you in another way. Mm -hmm. uh, he, he wants to maybe date you and have the stuff, and you know, even if you give in, this person maybe will see someone else in mm -hmm. the same job. So to some extent, uh, as Jen has said, mm. you just work with the pressure, but you look for something else to do so that you can exit, mm -hmm. because finally, you will have to be sent away, even if you don't want because the mm. pressure that will be given so that you can give in or maybe become the way that you want, mm -hmm. well, you will not work with it. So mm -hmm. uh, better you look for something else rather than to, to be sent away mm -hmm. from the work unexpectedly. Yeah, it's a kwam rembo na kwam hansa manza kwa shinda. Shinda kabisa. Makoko. All right, so we, we got to wind this up. It has been a very interesting conversation. Very timely. I mean, let me say it like that. Very timely. Uh, please, umesikia kama una bamba watu na nayo kuongea. We endelea tu bamba watu, lakini we'll see over, do kindly. And funny mm. thing is, aneza kuwa na, let's say, anakuongelesha wewe, Jane. Yeah. Lakini purity, asikia zinambo. Like mbona mna shinda ngami kiongea hapa hivi mbele yangu like simuta go find a room go get a room, <laughs> go get a room guys <laughs> so anyway thank you so much both of you maybe yeah. your parting shot as we leave kama uko na salamu sitaki kukosea lakini zikwendio now start with you Jane um, thank you so much for having me here today really it's a very these things need people need to talk about them more because mm. People go through a lot at workspaces. It's the way they don't have the freedom mm. and the capacity to talk about it. So, yeah, thank you so much. And the topic was nice. It mm -hmm. was a pleasure being here. Thank you. Purity? Okay. Um, I think uh, this is something that needs to be talked about. We need to have some platform, surely, mm -hmm. for the work meet or for the work that we do. Because these are things that are there. They will be there in as much as we have the gender that is the female and male and therefore we need actually the, the women are the ones who are vulnerable in this situation because in most cases you find we are the ones who are being uh, we are being uh, chased by these men yeah mm -hmm. so it is us to come up with a certain platform that will help the, the people who are working the, the gender which is being um, taken advantage of uh -huh. so that we can help them and we can create for them somewhere where they can air out their issues. Uh -huh. uh, it was nice uh, being here. Uh -huh. At least we are able now to open up the platform for the people who are working in different areas uh -huh. so that they are able to, to air out their views. Uh -huh. 
Yes. All right. Thank you so very much, Jane and Beauty. One more time. Now, before we get done with you here on Why in the Morning, let me wrap it up, and then we'll come back with Gresham Mengi and now finish wrapping. Yes, now we'll put a bow on it and call it a day. But I told you, it's going to content, come channel, white travel channel, content to pull. So even after the show, I encourage you to stay here on Why. But in the meantime, short break, we'll be right back.